hey guys welcome back to angular 10 spring boot crude full stack application tutorial series now let's open create employee component and let's define a property that is employee of type employee class and we are going to create object of employee class and initially all the properties of employee class should be empty all right let's head over to create employee component template and let's design a form here let me replace the default code and let me write the title of the page using s3 tag here and let's say create employee and after that let's go ahead and let's create a form and inside the form here we are going to use ng submit event to listen uh, you know form submission event well look at the syntax here within a parenthesis we have ng submit and let's assign an event handler to this ng submit event let's say on submit all right so this is the ng submit event which is enclosed in parenthesis and we have assigned a event handler to this event and this event handler will define in component class let's open create employee component and here we're gonna define an unsubmit function like this let's go back to create employee component and let's use a bootstrap css classes to design our create employee form let's create a div with class and then add bootstrap css class that is form hyphen group after that create a label And let's give name to the label like first name and after that uh, create a input field input type as text and then add bootstrap css class form hyper control and then id equals to first name and then we're gonna use ng model directive for two-way binding so look at the syntax here ng model and includes ng mod directive in parenthesis and after that enclose this in square brackets okay so this is the syntax to use ng directive in input element and let's assign a property to the directive let's say employee dot first name so this is the employee we have defined in a component and employee property is of type employee and this is the first name last name email id so these are the properties of employee class that we are using in the form all right next give a name to the input element like first name pretty simple right so the important point here is ng model so this is the directive that we are we are using for two-way binding so as soon as we enter something in this input text the corresponding property will get updated and as soon as we update this property in component class then this input text box will get updated well let's go ahead and let's add this input text box to the last name and email id as well let me copy this do and paste it here and let me change the necessary stuff this is the last name and id should be a last name just copy this and name should be last name and property email uh, employee dot last name well let me again copy this and let's define for email id let me change the label this should be email id let's go ahead and let's change the id here this should be an email id 
and name email id and property email, uh, employee dot email id and just save the file and let's add a button here so when we enter or uh, something in these input text fields then we need to submit the form right for that we are going to create a button over here and then let's add a bootstrap css class like button button success and the type of the button is submit and let's give name to the button as submit let's save all the files and let's head over to the browser and let's see whether it is working or not so look at here we got an error it says like can't bind to ng model directive since it is not a known property of input well ng model directive is you know present in a separate package uh, in a separate module that is forms module so in order to use ng model directive we have to import forms module in our app module all right let's head over to the vs code id again and go to the app module and here we're going to import forms model from angular forms and just copy the name of the model and here after http client model just paste it here let's save the file and let's head over to the browser so look at here the error is resolved so remember whenever you want to use ng model directive you have to import forms module in app module okay great so look at here the form is scattered so let's go ahead and let's align this form properly go to the create employee component template and let's go ahead and let's add a div here div and add a bootstrap css class like column mid and uh, let's say 8 and let's add offset offset bootstrap css class like offset mid and then define 3 and let's close this due at the end save the file and let's go back to the browser and look at here we have successfully aligned our form at the center not properly at the center so let's let's go ahead and let's change the css class again let's change from column 8 to 6 and let's save the file and let's go back to the browser yeah now the form aligned at the center all right great now go to the create employee component and here what we'll do we'll just put some logs here and just we're going to print the employee object to the console let's use this keyword to access the properties let's save the file and let's go back to the browser and now what we'll do we'll enter form data and we we'll submit the form data and we'll be able to see the form data will be available in on submit uh, method so let's enter first name ramesh last name further email id ramesh at the gmail.com and let me go to the dev tools of chrome browser go to the console here and just uh, clear the console and then hit submit button and let's see yeah here we go the employee object is successfully printed on a console with proper data first name ramesh last name further email id ramesh at the rate gmail.com all right guys great now the form data is available in on submit method in next video we'll make a rest api call to send this form data to the server and at the server a rest api will process this data and it will store in a mysql database Thanks guys for watching, I will see you guys in next video.